So here's our freezer paper. And there's a shiny side and a double side. We want the shiny side up. Then we're gonna take our piece of whisper light. You can trim it closer than this if you want, but put that on the shiny side. Take a dry iron, set it medium, and you're gonna iron the whisper light onto the freezer paper. Make sure you go all the way around. And then you can even turn it over, go from the other side. Okay, so now, got a thread in there, your freezer paper and whisper light are like one. Then we're going to trim it and then we'll feed it through our printer. Okay, so we've ironed our whisper light to our freezer paper, to the shiny side of the freezer paper. And, not, and it's oversized, obviously. So now we're going to trim off the extra whisper light. So that's even with the edges of our freezer paper. And this is a nice heavy duty freezer paper. And I sell it five sheets at a time, so you don't have to buy a whole pack of 50. Because not everybody wants 50 sheets. You can buy 50 sheets if you want, but I'm going to be selling it in lots of five so that it's more accessible. So trim off all the edges. One. And then to stabilize the edge for feeding it through our printer. Now, when you feed it through a printer, it has to be an inkjet printer only. You cannot use a laser printer. So this is for inkjet only because the um, laser printers use heat and it will melt everything. So do not use a laser printer. So you're gonna take some painter's tape, at least the width of the freezer paper, the short end, which you feed through the printer. And you're gonna stick it down. It doesn't have to be exact, but you want to be able to then fold it over to the other side. So that's going to give you a nice stable edge to feed. That's the edge that's going to feed through the printer first. A little wrinkle in there. And then you're going to trim that even. And trim that even. So you trim a little corner, trim the corner, and then that way it will feed easily into the printer and not get caught. So this gives you a nice crisp edge going into your printer. And this is the whisper light side. That's the paper side. So you're gonna feed the whisper light side up. So your design prints on the whisper light. So we'll do that next. Okay. So using your inkjet printer, inkjet only, can't do it with a laser, you're going to take your pattern, put it on the copier tray, and then take your prepared sheet of whisper light, and the uh, tape side is going to be down, whisper light side facing out, and copy, and one, And black and white is what I chose. And there's our pattern on the whisper light. So then, and just peel it off. There we go. And you can see, there's the pattern printed on the whisper light. So, that's another way to do that. You can also use the same technique to print on fabric with your inkjet printer. So, hope that's helpful. Thanks.